Hi everyone. Hi everyone. So, we're going to try a little bit of a household task today. So, we're going to do some odd socks. So, if you're anything like us, we have a continuous basket of odd socks in our house, which is here. So, getting your children involved in the jobs around the house can give them a real sense of purpose. Children really enjoy being involved in, in things and having a task to do. And there's lots of other learning that you can get from pairing up your socks. So, if we tip out our lovely odd sock basket. Whoa, we've got quite a few in there at the moment. Yeah, we have. Really have. So, B's job, first task, is to try and match the socks. So, when you've got children matching two things that are identical, they've got to notice things that are the same, they've got to notice the colours, they've got to notice shapes. In some ways uh, we've got, both of them have got school socks which are grey, so they've got to notice the difference in size. So there's lots of um, mathematical um, Look, learning that can go on with are, pairing socks. These aren't um, um, the same pairs but they're both mine. <laughs> So again, got lots of conversations about sorting things into categories. So that is a category. These could go together because they are bees. So we could make a bee pile and a Harry pile and a mummy pile and a daddy pile. Yeah, let's do that. So we can talk about different ways of sorting and that's fine. Obviously, Mummy. getting the job done and having your, your socks paired Mummy. at the end is helpful. But it, it's the learning that goes on during the task that Mummy, is important. Please, yes, can, please can we put... Um, pile of socks um, with my, mine and um, yours and Harry's and um, Daddy. Sure, why not? A pile. So Bee's decided she's going to sort the socks into our family members pile which is absolutely fine. Obviously you can do colours, you can do size and preferably you get you get a matching pair. So other things you can do for this activity is you can teach children to actually do the pairing and it's and it's quite difficult for small hands mm. to actually get their fingers round and get this into a ball. So again, we that will be building fine motor skills. If children can't do that because it's quite tricky, another thing that you can do is introduce some pegs. So pegs off the washing line. Squeezing pegs builds the strength in children's hands again. And that's another way that you can start to pair things together just by getting children to link them like this. They can even take it out and hang it on the washing line outside. Um, if you Google Andy and the odd socks on your on a, on a, on your phone or an iPad, you'll be able to find there is a song about that Andy sings off CBeebies. Um, so you can start linking it to other things and that song will not leave your brain by the way. So this activity you could potentially leave a child to do a little bit while you can pot around so if you're trying to do other things at work at home such as working or if you are trying to get things done or you've got other children this is potentially something that you can after a little bit of initial setup you can leave children to do independently so B seems quite happy <laughs> bye